What is up everyone? My name is Mr. J and today I am bringing you another Digimatch. On the left we have Gallimon and on the right we have Beelzeman. I am piloting Beelzeman. Um, just so you know, this is a friendly match right before the tournament. From what I remember seeing um, when I edited the video, there was a few misplays. Okay, don't crucify me. I know you guys love to call out the misplays. Go ahead and call them out, man. But the reason I want to showcase this deck is because I play Gallimon, right? So he goes first and he actually whiffs on the rookie. He doesn't open up rookie. He part plays the Growlmon, which is not bad. You run the Growlmon at a 4 of because it's only a 4 to play. So it's not bad. He only gave up 4 memory and then he's going to go into his Growlmon. The problem with this though is that um, he has his Digimon out in the open. So he has to jump into his Mega as quickly as possible. And then just hope I don't have Blast Mode in hand. I do use Skull Satamon Effect Mill 2 and I don't grab the Beelzebub from the trash. I should grab him. I do want him in the back. I do want him back because it's the OG Beelzebub. I definitely want him in hand. Um, so that was just a misplay on my part. But I'm going to quickly warp, um, not warp, climb up to the EX2 Beelzebub and then pass him over to 2. So if he has the starter deck Gallimon, it will pass over turn. And if he has the EX2 Gallimon, it'll still pass over turn and he does not have Blitz. No Takato. He does play the Takato, it will pass over. I do have the Ayamako on field. I'm gonna go Impmon in the Raising, Swing in Security, Trash the top two with Beelzeman's effect. I am actually gonna use Ayamako too. So three in total were trashed. Um, and then I will Warp. Draw off Evo. And then the War Growl will die. Yeah, so that sucks. But that's with the, if I were playing Gallimon right now, I would hide in the Raising. Obviously, he couldn't hide in the Raising because he didn't draw a rookie. So that sucks. And then I'm, I'm going to hard play the this, this Skull Satamon. That's uh, pretty good because if he has no way to answer it, most likely that means I have the EX2 Beelzebub in my hand ready to go. So Pagumon Trash 2. And then draw one for turn. Just checking my trash. Definitely have more than 10. Hopefully I remember to unsuspend my tamer. Go into Beelzeman EX2, trash two more when digivolving, draw a card, or draw a card. Gain a memory off Skull Sata. So I'll swing at security. And then warp. I should maybe I trash the Deathslinger, because there's no way I would have been able to do that without trash without passing turn. And then I'm gonna play the Sora and Mimi to pass turn. Hopefully, because sometimes I can see what I mill in the trash, but obviously if I mill it in person, I'm going to draw, I mean, I'm going to keep the memory off the Dustlinger. So we're going to move on to game two. He makes me go first and I do open the rookie and then I'm hard play the Ayamako to pass turn. I actually do like the opening play of rookie and raising plus the Ayamako because the Ayamako can... Even though it's not much, you can still trash the top card of your deck using the effect. So I'll swing at security, use Ayamako's effect. The Imman does not die because it hits the Giyoman with 1k. And I'm going to go ahead and hard play Skull Sadamon again. Again, Skull Sadamon is pretty good because he makes the Beelzeman, the EX2, one a 2 cost. And if you have the Soulmon under, the Beelzeman actually becomes a 1 cost because you'll gain back 2 memory. It's pretty efficient. I like it. I like it. He's going to go ahead and here is the other misplay. He just played that Giyomon this turn and then he did evolve into Growlmon and then swings over the Impmon. So that was not supposed to happen. Again, this is just a friendly match. And then he's going to go into Rise Gray. Rise Gray, very popular in the Gallimon decks. I think the I think I still think Black War Gray probably is a little bit more um, a little more consistent because the Agumons can search all your Greymons and then here you can't you it's really hard to play good Gralmons in this deck in the Gallimon deck but yeah I'm gonna go ahead and swing over the Rise Gray with the Beelzebub does anybody have can I ask the chat that in the comment section does anybody have the Ayamako Altar Art um, I've been thinking about picking them up. I don't want to spend 20 bucks on it though because I don't know, man. I and Mako, like, they come out for what, two episodes max in the series? They're not like really fan favorites. The Takato, I understand. But 30 bucks for a Takato is crazy because then, ugh, dude, 120 for a playset is crazy. 
the rise gray is worth the money though that altar rice gray that my man ha my man has here yes it's really good so he passes me over to three i'm pretty sure he has um three security left oh i have four security i'm gonna go ahead go into skull satamon for only two um hopefully i gain the memory off the soulmon but i'm gonna go ahead go ahead swing a security use both effects most likely to warp there are a bunch of pending effects here. I don't. I think I don't. I forget to activate the Beelzebub I just milled. The other reason sometimes I miss the effects, especially if if you're a purple player, you know there's a lot of stuff going on. Especially with the Beelzebub deck, there's like a lot of effects triggering at the same time. But this was my first week with the Beelzebub deck, so I was a little rusty. I do hope to take it to the next tournament though. He's going to go promote and go into War Growl. And then, I don't know, man. He only has one security left. I still have five. And again, that's just because I rushed him down. He, he didn't even brick. Like, he hard played the the Gilman this game, right? I could swear. Yeah. He could have just digivolved in the raising area. I don't I don't know what the point was uh, to play it in the battle area. But yeah, I have three, Biel three Beelzeman on the field. Two megas and then the level seven. And here he's just thinking about what to do. There's no way he can clear all three. So I'm gonna go into uh go ahead and go into the Gallimon, the EX2, and I think he's just gonna swing at well nothing happens, he can't delete anything with his effect, but I think he's gonna use Blitz to swing over the Beelzeman. How rude, dude. <laughs> like you obviously lost but you're like you know what i'm just gonna kill the beelzeman before i scoop yeah he's gonna swing over beelzeman yep there you go wow gain two memory off takato and then that's gg yeah he's gonna scoop it up what is that nah. <laughs> no man i do that too i do that too i can't even fault him for that yeah you just gotta get some retaliation real quick before you scoop again there was a few misplays here and there i don't think anything really changed the outcome of the game uh because it kind of looked like Gallimon break both games, but that's just that's just how it is with uh, stack decks. So yeah, thank you all for watching. My name is Mr. J, and I will see you all next time.